Kia ora tātou, i te o tōpū, herapuno, me te he mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. So Fano, big day today, a lot of things took place today. Uh, firstly, we are now into the single digit countdown, so I Fano, this is day nine. Uh, we are nine days away from celebrating a hundred years of the arrival of the Wairo Tapu, so that actually went pretty quickly Fano. Um, there were a lot of ex quite a lot of things that took place. A lot of activity took place today, both political and seismic. See what I did there? Um, so I, as some may know, there was a, uh, a huge group of people who actually went down to Parliament uh, to protest a very important tuki. What also took place uh, during that tuki was a uh, six point two earthquake so i'm raising this because this is actually quite interesting um and i'm going to the 1934 uh kororo in terms of what ratana did when he visited parliament and i think that this kororo is actually really really important to start soaking up as we get closer and closer to celebrating 100 years because hearing these stories is really about realizing the strength and the anointing that Ratana had on him. And not only that, but this anointing actually passed on to every one of us, all of us, Tato Tiwi Māori. And so, I, 1934, uh, 5th of July, Taupo Tiki Urumi Ratana travels to uh, the Parliament down in Wellington. And upon his entry into the Parliament building, he sees above him the symbol of the coat of arms. And so basically he has a bit of a corridor to the coat of arms and he reminds the coat of arms to ensure that good laws or sweet fruits um, come from this parliament. And so the sweet fruits that he was talking about were the good laws that would come from the politicians. And so he puts that little challenge there to that symbol and then he carries on and something actually interesting happens. He actually starts speaking to the seats. So this is really, really interesting. And, and remembering that Taupo Tiki Wurmi he is a prophet of God. And although this might seem weird to most people, I, don't, I haven't been in a hui or a kaupapa where I've seen people speak to seats. But he actually made a, a deliberate intention to greet these seats that were present within Parliament chambers. Speaking to them as though they were living beings. And so basically what Ratana does, he reminds them that they have a job to do. That their job is to ensure that good laws are passed. He also warns them that if you do pass bad laws, um, your tree will be uprooted, it will wither away, um, and it will be consumed by fire until there are only ashes left. And so I raised this quarter because today is actually really interesting. Uh, there was a challenge, um, I guess, religiously, in terms of our whakapono. And as we saw, uh, a large group of people went down to Parliament to uh, declare their views. And at the same time, about that time actually, um, earthquake took place. And so this is really just a reminder, Fano, that actually, as we get closer and closer to the 100-year celebration, it's these stories that actually reminds us, and actual live events like this that remind us that there actually is a huge anointing, and that all of these things that take place are happening for a reason, and that there is, I guess, a sense of um, whakatūpatotanga, that we do have a mahi to do to declare and uphold the teachings of Iho o Ngā Mano that have been given to us by Tau Pōtsuki Miratana. And so, just to kind of summarise and, and close this corridor whānau, this is a good corridor uh, for you guys to go and check out. Um, but it does highlight the fact that there is mahi to be completed. And that mahi all sits under the kaupapa of Te Omika. In 1928, Ratana declared that the mahi of the Ture Wairua was complete, um, the mahi o Te Aripa, 
but never did he actually say that the Mahi of Tiomika was completed. There was a time when he actually went to Te Rere o Kapuni and he asked the people after he had a conversation to, a water, to the waterfall up there. Um, so he asked them, what is the sign? What is What are the signs that you would know that the works of the Turi Tangata, the works of Tiomika are completed? And some people uh, replied by saying, by uh, settlements, um, the receiving of um, monetary payments, um, all of those sorts of things. Ratana actually said that you'll know that the works of Tiomika are completed when you see your lands being returned to you. And he also carried on to say um, that when your lands have been returned to you, you'll see 12 kings rise around the world and they will pass judgment upon the whole world. So these are those deep hohonu sort of porupititanga uh, that Tau Pōtiki Urumiratana gave. Um, but one other porupititanga that he gave when he visited um, the uh, parliament grounds, uh, he talked about a, a kupu that comes from the Book of Judges and the Paipira. And Samson, he, he came up with a riddle. And he said, what is something sweet coming from something strong and so you have to go into the uh, book of judges uh, chapter 14 to find this out for yourself but basically he was talking about um, um, in his journeys he actually found this um, uh, this beehive filled with honey that was inside this uh, this uh, carcass of a lion and so Routon actually dropped that corridor and pretty much prophesying the construction of the beehive. So, you know, prophecies like that, Fano, are really huge and just reminds us, you know, don't think little about what happened on the 8th day of November. That Ratana actually prophesied a lot of these things and it has come to pass. One of the things that you know about a prophet, if he is real, is that when he speaks prophecy and it actually happens, then you know that he has been sent by God. So that's how you test a prophet. You ask them to prophesy. And if what they say doesn't come true, well, they probably haven't been sent by you. Um, but maybe they have another mahi to do under his manaki tanga, under his korori tanga. But um, that's it for now, Fano. Um, over the next couple of days, we're going to be wrapping up this 100-day journey. Um... And we'll probably look a little bit deeper into this whole concept of Nga Mahi o Teomika because um, it's one thing to actually look at what happened on the 8th day of November, but it's more important to actually start looking at the day that we fulfill the mission that was given to us on that day. So something to think about whānau. We'll start going through that journey of understanding this whole basis of uh, Nga Mahi o Teomika over the next couple of days. So um, I find out, I hope everyone out there is doing good. Um, I also hope that those who were impacted by the earthquake weren't impacted severely. Uh, but it is a reminder, Fano, that I, we are under Iho's watch in this country. Um, even those who sit in parliament are still accountable to Iho. So Fano, koe wari wari ki tēnā. Um, but I, i rotu i tēnā. Nga manaki tanga o i hoa, ki rungi a tātou katoa, matua tama wairo tapu honore ki ngā ane hera pono, me te māngao ngāriki he kai āwhina, he kai tautuko mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. Ko mārie!